Welcome back. So, so in this problem, you have a toroidal board, which what that means is like the edges are identified. So the upper left corner is adjacent to all the other corners, for example. And you'd like to color it with one of K colors, such that the neighbors are different. Um, yeah, it's one of these things. Okay. Uh, ba -ba -ba. So the fact that it's a torus actually makes it... Okay, whatever. Where's Miro? Okay, that's last week. Okay. Um. Okay, well, okay, first things first. Um, you need at least four colors, always. Because there's you can if you have a two by two grid, they all need to be different. Uh is that sufficient? Yes, because okay. So this problem's not gonna take very long, I think. <laughs> so at most at least four colors are needed because there exists a two by you know, because a two by two square need all different colors. And if K is even, that's sufficient as well, because you can do coloring X mod 2, comma Y mod 2. And it will probably not be sufficient for 3, but let's find out. Also, is the guy that came in earlier asking whether it's a kid game still here? Because <laughs> if that was like someone watching the stream for the first time, they probably think I'm very not intelligent because I was multiplying one by one digit numbers. <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. Okay, where's the cursor? <laughs> Imagine you like are like surfing Twitch and you find a science and technology stream and you just find some person multiplying one digit numbers. That's the first thing you see about them. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so uh, three by three. Let's see. Okay, we're gonna call it this A. This is B, C, D without loss of generality. So then, um, this has to be A or C. Maybe I should make this larger. Oh, this is fine. I would stay if I saw that. <laughs> okay, this is A or uh, sorry, this is. A or C. This is A or C. This is B or D. This is B or D. Sorry, not no. This is A or B. A or B. A or B. Um. Yeah. So, okay, the thing is on a 3x3 three three, it's stupid, right? Because this is also adjacent to A, so then it's forced to B. So on a 3x3 three three, you actually can't do it with four colors, which is not surprising. Uh, actually, how many colors do you need for a 3x3? Three three? That seems like I should... Okay, I should actually figure out how many colors you do need. That, that does seem worth figuring out. Because four is the lower bound. So you can... Alright, let's see. So, oh, but if I have a fifth color, you can use the f mm, Okay, let's see. B. No, that's not good. Uh, okay, on a 3x3, three three, actually, um, you need at least six? Yeah, on a 3x3, three three, you actually need a, lo a whole ton of colors, because this whole thing is like a K6. Like every cell in here is adjacent to every other cell in here on the Taurus. So you actually need at least six colors just for the two by three. And then... 
Oh wait, is every square? Oh, every square is adjacent to every square. Okay, that's beautiful. Um. <laughs> okay, so, all right. I no longer think this problem is just gonna die. I thought it was gonna be really stupid. Like you need, you can do it with five colors, but um, C three equals die. La <laughs> Okay. Uh. Okay. Let's let's do a bigger board. <laughs> Okay, so here's A, B, C, D. It's busted. Uh, okay, wait, wait, what is the answer for? Because I feel like a 3x3 three three is just stupid. But I, I feel like the 5x5 five five and the 3x3 three three should behave pretty differently. Uh, however... You can do it with five colors, right? Because you can do, um... You can do some cyclic crap, like... That. And then the next is here. So if you take this and tile... So C, C5 is at most five. Um... The question is, can you do it in four? I want to... Okay, if you have a four color ring, what, what are ways I can show there's no valid? If you have a valid four color ring, then, um, you know what? Let me, let me do this. We're just gonna take a cell in the middle of the grid. Oops, wrong color. Then there's like eight surrounding things, right? And then you need to divide them into three plus three plus two or something like that. You, you can't fit in four, right? Actually, you could fit in four. Hmm. Hmm. Wait, yeah, this seems like it's obviously pretty good. <laughs> It must be A, B, ex wait, does it have to be that exactly? I was worried because I thought that it was branching. Um, so this cell can be either A or C, right? And this cell can be either... Yeah, these are either A or C. This is B or A or B, A or B. Oh, I forgot to write up the previous problem. It's okay, that problem will not take very long to write up. <laughs> I got too distracted by the multiplication thing. Uh. Ah, no, A or B. No, eraser. Come here, come here. A or B. 
ARP, ARP. If you get, oh, I see, okay, I see. And then this one is BRD, okay, okay, I get it, I get it, yes. Okay, so CK is at least, I see, you can't even do this trip. So CK is greater than four for all odd K. Okay, so then the okay question becomes, can I always do this with five colors? And I think it should be. The problem is like five is a kind of awkward prime. So I can't do a, a super periodic tiling unless K happens to be divisible by five. However, the fact that I can now, so if, um, there that. Let's actually get CK equals 5. Whenever K is divisible by 5. K is 5 mod 10. Which makes me feel like you should be able to do 5 colors just always. Um, but that will require a bit more work for the construction. So... Does it work for all odd? Well... Well, it relied on the fact that it was- it was still like 5 periodic, right? Like, when- this is k equals 7. If you have a 7 by 7 board, um... Your- your- your color ring is 7 periodic. And 5 periodic and 7 periodic don't mix well together. <laughs> or unless- hmm, okay, wait, let me- Yeah, because the problem is like this thing will is not good for you. But maybe I can like fill in like most cells that aren't the. Huh. But I, I feel like if I'm gonna do that, I should just like color. Uh... I don't know. Thank you, DLE Fever, for the follow. Like my inclination is, I want to do something like this. So like get take care of like an even part. Because otherwise, the construction is going to depend a lot on the properties of the specific K, and I don't really want to deal with that. So I feel like the best case scenario is I should be able to like do this with a fifth color, except I can't. Okay, I can't do it. It's, it's, it's not quite this simple because, um... Ah, crap. Okay, fine. I see. Because now this cell and this cell both um, are bad, so we're not going to be able to do that. It should be five. Okay. Uh, see, that's the problem. Is I'm pretty sure it's five colorable, but also I doubt the coloring is anything close to unique, which is actually worse for me. Because if the coloring is unique, you can narrow it down like a rigid problem. But in situations like this, where it's there's a lot of freedom, then I just have to make executive decisions and pray, um, which makes me sad. Yeah, you could- yeah, that was the other thing I was thinking of, is maybe I, like, do the 5x5 five five construction on the- on an inner 5x5, five five, and then try to do it, um, per periodic 2 afterwards. Um, so here's the 5x5 five five construction again. This is, a. Uh, See, I have so much freedom. I hate it. Like, I actually don't want to have freedom because- oh. Mm. Okay, so if I want this to work, let me write down what I have. This is A, D, B, E, C. This is A, B, C, D, E. Bottom right A is adjacent- wait, what? I haven't filled out enough of the grid yet. Have I? 
Uh, I don't think I filled out enough of the grid for that to be a problem. Okay, well, okay, see, see, the problem is this, you can't just fill the grid, like, A, D, B, E, C, uh, A, B, C, D, E, like, there exists, a, there exists probably a lot of ways to fill the grid, because now these cells can be, like, basically anything they want to be. This is because- oh wow, I'm actually using the fact it's 2 mod 5. This will be a lot more ugly if it's not 2 mod 5, exactly. Um, but... Oh Jesus, I don't know. But like, you know, I can, I can fill in the grid if you all want me to, kind of thing. Alright, because... Do you think I can alternate just between like two patterns and then... <laughs> it's just there's so many things I can write then they'll work. So I need to like... I want to pick one. You know, we're just gonna go with this one. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll take the next cyclic plot. It's like extend the mod 5 construction as much as possible. Um, okay, and I should be able to, like, because these are just all A, B, and T, this is E, C, C. Uh, so I should just be able to, like, write down things and finish, right? Um, Yeah, like, there, I can write, okay, let me just write crap in. What I really wanted was, um, okay, you know what, why don't I do this? We're gonna put C here. D, E, and then I should be able to put something here. Shit! No, I died! No! Uh, okay, maybe, uh, can I fill in? What, what do I put in the bottom right? Help me out here. <laughs> C, D is here. D. We'll put B here. And we'll put A here. Okay. And then, in principle, I should be able to keep extending this, right? Because what I can do in the general situation is... Um, Yeah, you, you keep doing this. Like, you make, you make another copy of this thing. And then make another copy here, and then make another copy here. You take this and copy it a bunch of times. And then this thing, you take, like, ADBC thing and just re keep putting it. And that should be okay, right? And then this is B, C, A, D, or whatever. Is this, does this work? I think this should just work. 
Because this, this whole border is EC. This area is AB. This area is AD. Um, this, that's what I did. Okay, great. Cool. Uh, yeah, we win. Cool. I'm glad I did not put up too much of a fight. The the problems that are like this are always scare me because like you have to, I have to make decisions and then sometimes you make the wrong judgment calls and it's sad. But this works. Okay, cool. All right, we're gonna write up this problem first and then I will quickly write up this Fermaz list. Yeah, yeah, we can get to the one that I actually wanted to do. <laughs> Also, I, I find I find the K equals three case really funny. I don't know why. Uh, it's just like low. It's actually you actually they're all just adjacent. It's a fucking K nine. <laughs> and K. Okay, all right, so when K equals three, um, nine colors are both necessary and square. Three two cells are the same color. When K is even, a coloring using X mod two, Y mod two works. It's also best possible because at every cell of each 2x2 two two must be a different color. For... okay. The main interesting case is K. At least five colors are necessary. Proof. It's easy... in fact, you, one cannot even color 2xK toroidal To toroidal? Toroidal grid with four colors. If the first since if the first column is a B is say uh, red pink and the second column is blue purple I don't know that <laughs> then the columns comes will alternate red pink and blue purple. On the other hand, the construction the construction that where it generalizes easily is shown below. Um, okay. And then we're gonna draw a beautiful diagram because an extra like that. Um, What colors do you all want to use? Red, yellow, green, blue, white, maybe? Or red? Well, let's use Hanapi colors. Um, string coloring equals. Right. Gotta do this right. Red, yellow, 
blue, green, purple. And then... So we'll do the 5 by 4 first. Oh crap, I should've. <laughs> it's actually easier if I do it faster if I do it color by color, I think. Okay, so red, 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 red. And then yellow, yellow. Okay, so... Red, yellow, BGP, BG. P and then BGP. Okay, and then after this we alternate it. One, two, three, four. And then this one is one, two, three, four. And then this one is one, two, three, four. This is one, two, three, four, and this is one, two, three, four. No, I think the thing is that, like, it just feels like it shouldn't be that far from four, right? Like, the four, you only die with four colors towards the very end. So it doesn't seem like, you know, if you have 17, you should need, like, 17 colors. That's just way too many, right? Like, I don't think the answer sh the, I think the answer feels like it should be bounded by some absolute constant like it shouldn't grow in this size it don't like I don't know I don't know how to like prove that but I feel like the feeling you should have is that it doesn't feel like it should grow um okay so r y b g p and then r y r y r y whoa Someone shot a New Year's thing. I didn't know you could do that. How do you do that? Dang. Also <laughs> All right. I learned something new today. I didn't know that was a feature. OG, PRY. GB, 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 GB. You know what? I don't like these the color. I feel like red, yellow, green, green are the non-controversial colors and All right, sorry, I'm gonna redo this. I, I want purple to be the weird color. Because E behaves differently from all the other colors. So in order for that to work, uh, <laughs> this is OCD. Red, yellow, blue, green. Actually, let's do black. We'll, we'll, we'll do five suit Hanabi, all right? Five suit, one critical. Uh, okay, so red, green, yellow, black, blue, and then everything else is a cyclic permutation. That is a nice feature. Okay, that's user reactions. Okay. Red, green, red, green, red, green, red, green. Yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black. Uh, G, I, G, I, G, I, G, I. Black. Black, blue, black, blue, black, blue, black. Okay, cool. And then down here, we, we make another copy of this. And then the next row is almost a copy of this. Instead of being so yellow black, it's blue. After. And then we keep tiling with these two. So one, two, three. Shit, shit. Okay, and then, okay, for in x equals zero, x less than 12. S, S equals... Okay, so now I have to remember how this syntax works. I never get it right. Also, I, this, I messed up. In asymptote, these are actually curly. Ah, freak, 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 out. Okay, so... Color... 12 minus Y... 
and then substring x1. Okay, let's see if this works. <laughs> I've done this so many times, I really should know what the syntax is, but every time I make at least one mistake. And let's see what it is this time. Uh, no, oh, okay. It would, it would help if I named the variables correctly. Um, shit, it's not substring. Uh, anyone remember what it is? Is it substr? Is no ing? It's substr. Okay. I'm gonna make this a little bigger. And then okay. Then if s equals r, uh, fill unit square. Is it gray with a y or e y? We'll find out. Uh, oh right, sorry, I switched back to the mirror. Yeah, so this is the code. Um, oh come on. Oh, it actually worked. All right, cool. Okay, we'll make these a little thicker for certain values. Um, oh crap, never mind. We'll, we'll just overwrite them. <laughs> Draw. Um. Which one's the important one? Zero eight. And then a five zero to five thirteen. Oh man, Wait, I didn't realize I had forgot to put up the code thing because that means that the last several minutes were probably very boring, right? Because it's just me typing and the code's not even visible. I think the blue is too dark. The blue should be more like cyan. I think I'll make the yellow pillar as well. Ta-da! Asymptote good language. Um, actually, now that I think about it, I don't actually need to draw the grid lines, right? Because the boy... <laughs> Do the grid lines help? Let's, let's find out. Yeah, don't you need the grid lines? Uh, okay, it seems like you can't tell the grid lines are there. Uh, so we don't get trouble, that's fine. And I wanna I want the division here to stand out a little more. Um Is orange a good choice? No, nope. Uh, yeah, orange is terrible. We'll, we'll just use good old black. I wonder how thick I can get away with. I do thickness four and a half, is that overkill? 
Well, it's actually pretty good, I think. Okay, we'll, we'll, just, we'll just do super thick. Alright. Fine, best possible. A lot of good tags for this problem. We didn't do any bounding, like it was you know, almost entirely just the construction. It's a little, uh, I think it's fine. Okay. And let's post on AOPS. Wait, is USAMTS yes, not one of like the special collections? Oh yeah, here it is. Okay, uh, alright, here's the URL. Oh, this, this needs a few more line breaks to be readable. Let's do that here. <laughs> 